So this is my five minute standing ab workout that you can do literally anywhere and I'm going to do it with you in real time. We're gonna focus on working all the major abdominal muscles. So the first exercise is called the standing leg kicks. We're gonna go for 30 seconds alternating the legs. Now the key thing here is whilst you're doing this, make sure you keep your back perfectly straight, keep those abdominals pulled in tight. If you can't lift your legs that high, it doesn't matter. The more you do this routine, the more flexible you'll become in the hamstrings as well. This is working as several muscles muscles on here working through the legs but also working the long muscle at the front of the abdominals rectus abdominis as well as working the transverse abdominis your core muscle and we're doing that by keeping that back straight so it's really important to keep that upright posture okay we're nearly done on that one last couple so the next exercise we're doing is the waist toner. We're gonna to be doing this on the right leg. So you're standing on your left leg. Now bring your right arm over on this. We're just bringing that across. So it's knee to elbow is coming into the center and then take that back. Make sure as well here that your supporting knee is slightly bent. You're gonna feel this working through the abdominals. What we're also doing here is we are engaging the waist muscles, the oblique muscles. This is what's gonna really shape and tone into your waist. That's good, keeping that going. Always important, still keep those tummy muscles engaged. Okay, so we're gonna do exactly the same now. We're just gonna change over onto the opposite leg. Make sure your supporting knee is slightly bent. Get your balance, and now we're bringing that across. So it's elbow to knee that meets into the center on there. So we're working into those oblique muscles. We're still working your core muscle as well. And the important thing is with the abdominals, we don't just want to be doing sit-ups. We want to work the abs through every single range of movement, which we do in this workout of mine. So keep going with me. Just imagine I'm there training alongside you. That's good. We're nearly done on this one. Let's just go for the next one on here. Standing leg kick. So we're coming back to the next move. This one, let's do this again for 30 seconds. So imagine here, we're keeping that back as straight as you can. Tummy is pulled in tight and really focus on pulling your belly button in tight as you lift that leg up on there. So we're alternating from leg to leg. That's good. You're doing really well. Key thing is, when we're doing any exercise, focus on the muscles that you're working. Really visualize how we're toning and strengthening through those abs on there. All right, that's good. We're just gonna go for the last couple. Okay, so straight onto the next move. I call these the side bends. We're gonna alternate from side to side. So your feet are hip width distance apart. Reach the hands down, come back up to the center. Center, side. Side, reach to the center and back. Now what is important here, make sure you don't lean forwards nor lean backwards. So just imagine we're just keeping that body in a straight line. We're just going from side to side. And this one here is really great at working into those waist muscles. So this is what's gonna give us that nice curvy shape on there, but still keeping the belly button pulled in tight to the spine means we're gonna keep those tummy muscles nice and flat. So the next move now we're gonna do is what I call the burnout. We're gonna focus on the right side. So this time now you just pull one arm back. Just imagine you're pulling back a bow and arrow. But what is really important here, keep those hips nice and still for me. So fully engage those core muscles. So your belly button is tight to your spine and you're reaching that elbow back as far as you can. You'll feel this working into the internal and external oblique. So again here, this is where we're shaping into the waist. So we're keeping that going. That's good, all right, well done. So now let's change, take that to the other side for me. Make sure your knees are soft on here as well. So let's get ready, 30 seconds. We pull it back, that's it. So reach up back and really try and focus. Imagine that your hips are sort of like set in cement so you can't twist through the hips. If you do move through the hips and we're missing out on working through the abdominals, so they stay nice and still. That's good, reach up back as far as you can. Again, still keep that belly button pulled in really tight to the spine. Okay, well done. So the next move we're gonna do is a standing ab sweep. So with this, we're gonna go on the right leg. So get your balance, and now you're gonna bring your arms across. You're just bringing your arms across, and the knee comes up. So the knee comes up to the center, but we're sweeping those arms across on there. This one here also is really good for working your balance on here. And the great thing is with doing standing ab exercises, you tone all over as well. Okay, well done. We're nearly done on these, so let's just go for a few more. Pull that through, and again, keep those hips as still as you can. Tummy is tight. Excellent. All right, let's change now. We're gonna take that straight over to the opposite side. So just get your balance, come into position, and now bring that across. So sweep those arms across, bring the knee up, 
and again just really make sure we're pulling that belly button as tight into the spine because that's going to help strengthen through those abdominals it also helps strengthen through your back as well and we're nearly done today nearly finished on my five minute standing ab routine and let's go last couple Okay, so if you wanted to, you could repeat the routine again, turning that into your 10 minute ab routine. But what is really important once you finish, always make sure you cool down. If you've got any questions, let me know in the comments box below. And if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up.